Hey, what's going on everybody? In today's tutorial, I'll be covering how to set up a relatively cheap GPS module, the Raspberry Pi. Before we get started, I just want to mention that all the necessary information and parts um, can be found on my website, which is listed in the description below. So let's go ahead and start with the physical setup. It's relatively straightforward. Um, all we need to do is take the GPS module here and hook it up to any available USB uh, port on the Raspberry Pi. So there we go. Uh, let's go and head over to the computer now. Okay, so now that you've hooked up the GPS module to the Raspberry Pi and powered everything on, you want to log in via the terminal and you need to run these commands. So the first thing you need to do is update um, your Raspberry Pi. So just type sudo app get update. Okay, so now that everything is updated, we need to enable the serial interface. This will allow us to see the messages um, from the device. So to do that, we need to type sudo raspy-config. Um, go to interfacing options, serial. On the first prompt, select no. Would you like to the serial hardware port enabled, um, select yes on this, and then OK. You go to finish. Um, you might have to uh, restart, so go ahead and do that. I've already have mine uh, activated. But now that that's done, we need to verify that the module has been detected. Um, so to do that, we just type ls usb, and what you're looking for is this U blocks. Um, AG. If you're using a different module, the name may be a little bit different, but this is what we're looking for. So, to see what port um, on the serial it's hooked up to, we need to type D message pipe grep tty. And then, as you can see here, TTYACM0 is our uh, port for the USB device. So now we want to go and see what data we're getting from the GPS module. So to view that, we we just need to type cat slash dev dash TTYACM0. Hit enter. And as you can see, this is all the sort of raw messages that we're receiving from the GPS module. It's using the NEMA standard. Um, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. So NMEA, which stands for the National Marine Electronics Association. And this standard is just um, a way to represent different types of data and messages. So as you can see, this prefix on the left um, stands for different values and different metrics. Um, I'll link a article below in the description that goes into the, the NEMA standard in more detail. But essentially what we're going to do here is parse each one of these lines and then display them in a more human readable format. So now that we verified everything is working, we can go ahead and run the Python script. Okay, so here's the Python script that we're going to run. Um, I'm going to run through sort of what it does really quick. I found this Python script uh, online. It was created by Christian, I'm sorry to butcher your name, is it Laos? Yes. Um, so yeah, definitely go check out his Git. There's a lot of stuff there. Um, but going back to the script, it's pretty straightforward for each uh, prefix for the NEMA line. Uh, he has a function set up to print all the corresponding information. So for example, uh, these GGA lines will print information such as the number of satellites, latitude, longitude, and all this other stuff. 
and so he has functions set up for each different uh, prefix and in the main portion of the script I've set the port to TTY ACM0 which is a USB 0 port for the GPS module which we found earlier and as you can see here it's running this infinite loop and just parsing out the prefix and printing the corresponding information. So pretty straightforward here. I'm sure you guys will have a lot of questions in regards to use cases on um, how I can implement this to do things other than just print the information. So some ideas that come to the top of my head is you could definitely log all of this information to a file or for example you can dig into some of these functions here and extract uh, for example in the VTG function you could extract uh, speed and create a, speedo a GPS speedometer but yeah that's pretty much it in regards to the script so let's go back to the terminal and see this in action all we need to do now is run the Python script so to do that, I already have this uh, GPS script um, saved to my Raspberry Pi. So all I need to do is type Python 3 GPS.py. And essentially, um, what this script does is it will parse each one of those lines and display the data accordingly. Um, I've redacted the latitude latitude and longitude data for security purposes, but this is essentially what you'll see. Um, and that's pretty much the tutorial for today. So leave a comment down below if you have a question. I'll try to get to it if I can. Uh, like and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming content. Peace.